talking about a big walk this morning. Most of us see the countryside from a car or through a bus window, but when you have to rely on your two feet and a heartbeat to get around, I'm sure it's uh, pretty hard not to miss a thing. Local bloke David Till has actually spent the last few months walking from the top of New Zealand right to the bottom, and the effort took him 119 days. I reckon it might have taken me a little bit longer than that. I'm sure he's recuperating, but we thought we might check in with David this morning. David, g'day. How are you going, Jamie? Oh, I'm well. I'm probably feeling maybe a little better in the legs than you are. Oh, no, they're coming good now. It's sort of it's tough the last probably 600 k's, but they're all settling down again now. I like that. The last, last 600 k's was kind of tough. David, I suppose I've got to ask you firstly, why on earth? Why did you do it? Uh, lots of people ask that question, and it's a difficult one to answer. And the only thing I can come up with is um, just wanted to do it while my legs could do it. I thought, you know, I'm getting getting an uh, age where I won't be able to do anything like this. So uh, work was pressure me to take a bit of time off. So I um, took it, took a big whack. You've put it into into good use. I mean, generally, are you a, a keen walker? Did you have to do much preparation to to get to the stage to take this challenge on? Uh, yeah, I probably when I was younger, I used to do a lot of hiking and camping for scouts and stuff. And then with family work and business and things over the years, that all got put aside. And then, um, yeah, a couple of years ago, I decided to do the Big Woman track from Perth down to Albany. Right. And just absolutely loved it. Got to Albany, just wanted to turn around and walk back up again. So <laughs> as soon as I got home, I was looking for something else. And then my daughter lives in Queenstown. And she'd heard about this walk in New Zealand from Cape Ranga right down the bluff that had just been officially opened. I think they've been working on it for, for about 20 odd years, but they officially opened it. And so I researched that and thought I'll give that one a go. So they officially opened it uh, fairly recently from when you decided to take it on? Yeah, people have been walking it for quite some time, but uh, I think it was 2000 and early 2012 that they officially decided to open the track just to get people on it to try and get more funding from the government, I think. You know, they say X amount of people are walking it, you know, we can get a few more dollars. It's 23 minutes past six. My guest is David Till. He's a local here in Perth, but he's been spending a bit of time over New Zealand on a big walk, which took him from the, the top to the bottom of the country in 119 days. David, where exactly in the top of New Zealand did you, did you start the trek? Uh, it's a place called Cape Rianga, which is basically the top. Uh, there's a lighthouse there, and, and that's the official start point of the trail. And then it, it actually from there to Bluff is only 1,400 kilometres if you go in a straight line. But unfortunately, or fortunately for me, to see more of New Zealand, it, it doesn't go straight. And it was 3,063 k's all up. Right, right. So uh, heading into it, did you? It's such a big journey. You must have those points where you're thinking, nah. I want to chuck in the towel. I don't think I can. I can go on any more. Did you experience any of those when you're on the big walk? Yeah, the Bibbulmun I didn't at all. But this one, I knew those days would come. It's such a long way, and, and and it's a very tough country compared to Australia to walk in, or Western Australia. I mean, our high hills, what 460 odd metres, and over here, that wouldn't even get a name or a number. Yeah. But um, yeah, probably in the South Island, like I said, that 600 k's out, I um. Had a few issues. I ended up in a falling off the side of a fairly steep part of a hill and rolled down that over a cliff into the river, and that that shook me quite a lot. And I nearly sort of pulled the pin then, but sort of got over it after a couple of days. But then I lost the GPS, and then I fell on a hole and hit my knee. And so things were sort of compounding. It made it quite difficult. But eventually, I got to Queenstown, had a couple of days off there with my daughter, and sort of got the batteries going again to finish off. And away you went. Uh, I, I like that yeah. those things were just, you know, little challenges, little bumps in the road that you could, you could come back from. Uh, one thing when I think New Zealand for 119 days walking and being able to take it all in is, is the scenery. How spectacular was it? And did you have any of those moments that really, I mean, stick out and you remember now? Oh, uh, too many. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you get up top of some of the mountains and just sit there. I sat on Mount Rintoul for about an hour just, couldn't believe the views. Uh, some mountains I got up and it was just cloud, you know, was, uh, I didn't see anything. But the majority of it, I was fortunate enough to get in good weather and um, had some absolutely spectacular views. Their beaches, walking down some of the beaches were great. Probably one of the best things, though, there's a fair bit of road walking in the North Island and I did it in purest fashion, so I did the whole, every step. I didn't hitch or any of that at all. 
But um, the people you meet when you walk along the road, I mean, I was invited into people's houses. They'd wash me clothes, put me up for the night. And it was absolutely fantastic. The people over there are so friendly. Yeah, it's often the, uh, the people you meet on the journey that's almost as spectacular as, as what you're doing. David, thanks so much for the chat and congratulations. Uh, we'll be sure to check in with you on the next big trek, yeah? Yeah, no worries, Jamie. All Thanks right. a lot. Thanks a lot. That's David Till there. He spent 119 days taking in New Zealand. Pretty amazing 